What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this box, I have the ASICS Ultraza 3, which is a football boot that came out about six months ago now, I believe. And I'm very excited to see what this one feels like. I've heard so many good things about it. And a lot of you guys have actually written in the comment section of a couple of my videos to review this particular boot. Plus it's a really cool colorway. So let's hop straight into it. So you get a very traditional ASICS box here with the brown and the brown cardboard, basically with the big ASICS logo. You've got ASICS logos on the long side, the short side, recycling information there on the bottom. And then down here on this side, you have the Ultreza 3 and in the white and lagoon. So it's like a white with a kind of coral blue colorway. These are in my usual size nine, a 27 centimeters, Euro 42.5 and a UK 8. Now I did go with a nine US just to get a sense of what the sizing is like. I usually try to go nine for the first review and then adjust based on how they fit straight out of the box. Then sometimes for the test, I'll buy a half size down or a half size up if I need to. Um, some ASICs boots I fit in totally fine in a 9 US, others I fit in an 8.5, so that remains to be said. But let's get these unboxed straight away. Here we go. Boom, okay. Love this colorway. Very, very nice. So the Ultraza is actually quite a similar construction. Um, this is just a little ASICS tag. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this off. So the ASICS Ultraza, as you can see there on the backside, is a very similar construction to the XFly Pro uh, and the XFly 5, but more the XFly Pro in a lot of ways. Uh, it's got more of a traditional synthetic material here as opposed to a synthetic leather that the XFly 5 series has, but it does have a really nice soft premium kangaroo leather here in the forefoot, which is super sweet. So let's get these unboxed and we'll talk talk about tech specs and of course we'll get on feet later on in the video. So if you guys could rate this colorway down in the comment section below, what would you rate an all white with this kind of blue like dark turquoise color which is really cool. Asics uses this as one of their control boots. So it's marketed as uh, having balanced design for a player that's seeking control with a closer feel to the ground. For those of you who don't know, ASICS has quite a lot of football boots and just sports boots in general that have a five to 10 millimeter lift here in the heel area. So you basically get a boot that has uh, essentially a heel cup, which actually a lot of people put into their football boots to get reduced pressure on their Achilles tendon. If they have heel issues, that can really help. And so ASICS has worked with podiatrists in the past to put that heel lift into uh, this pair of football boots, which is pretty cool. You get a really nice torque truss through the midfoot here of the sole plate, which is predominantly conical studs. And then you've got a few diamond shaped studs here in the heel area, plus some triangular studs in the midfoot for a little bit of of extra grip. You've got the X guidance technology, which they basically, uh, it, it's basically, they basically call that their balance technology. So that keeps the foot stable and allows you to kind of focus on the things that you want to during the game. It's got a great amount of rigidity to it. In fact, I'm going to take some of this paper out really quick and uh, throw that to the side so we can just get a sense of as we torque it back and forth. It's got really great stability through the midfoot, and then it's got a nice bend and some pretty good snapback for uh, a boot of this style. Now, for those of you who probably already know, I've reviewed a lot of boots of this style. Let me see if I can list all of them. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about sole plate of some kind, and then you've got the leather forefoot with the synthetic midfoot and heel area. And that formula has been used by so many brands because it works. People really love the lockdown feeling of the synthetic in the midfoot, plus the leather touch and control and feel and on feet sensation you get with that leather forefoot. So we're talking 99 gram leather boot, we're talking A6 DS Lite XFly 5 and XFly Pro, and Ultraza, so they've used this kind of formula. Obviously the materials in the midfoot are a little bit different, but you get the idea with the synthetic in the midfoot. You have, let's see, um, boots like the New Balance 442 2.0 Pro, that is leather in the forefoot and synthetic in the midfoot. You have, 
what else? I'm sure, oh, obviously, Copa Pure Plus and Point One. Obviously, the Plus model now has the knit material, the prime knit here through the mid uh, the midfoot in that lacing system area, whereas the Point One has just a traditional collar, but regardless, it's got the synthetic midfoot with the leather forefoot. We've got a couple, I'm, excuse me, I'm gonna totally forget the actual name of the boot, but two, I believe, of Diodora's new speed boots in their category, which actually look really good those use the same construction. So as I'm, you know, talking about these boots, you guys can tell it is a category of football boots that's very popular because it keeps coming back. Brands keep producing this type of football boot and I think that pays off because it is a category that people really enjoy. Oh, and by the way, the goat basically of football boots almost in general, the Morelia Neo now Neo 4 and Neo 4 Beta. Synthetic midfoot just like this leather forefoot, right? So you, you have these incredible quality products that all use this formula. The Ultraza has a motion wrap upper. That's what they call this whole um, kind of synthetic midfoot area, which if we take the laces out, I got, I want to show you guys a little bit inside the boot that those, that footage is actually coming very soon back when I set up the, uh, the lens that's able to go inside the boot. We'll do that stuff as we move forward. But there you go. So you can kind of see inside the boot, it's a suede material here on the inside. And then you get these little waves of stronger material and then in between the waves of thinner material. So that's what they call motion wrap. And it's a no-sew construction that provides a super lightweight feel, um, enhances fit and ensures really nice supportive midfoot. That's one of the reasons why this particular formula with the leather and the synthetic is such a popular thing because you get that combination of feeling between the softness of the leather and the lockdown of that midfoot area. And um, the Ultraza 3 has a little bit of a lower heel lift. So this one in particular has a five millimeter heel lift. So as we get them on feet, I'll show you guys what they look like uh, on feet. If you notice any heel lift, great. If you don't, fair enough. I will tell you if I feel any heel lift, that's something that I don't necessarily like or dislike in a boot. I haven't worn it a ton just because I predominantly use the Phantom GX for my games. And then for training sessions, I've used a couple, like several Asics boots, several Mizuno boots and all of those, and those don't, don't have any heel lift. So I'm really curious to see how these fit, feel and perform. Of course, if they do actually fit straight out of the box, we'll definitely be doing a play test in them as well, which is awesome. The other feature of this football boot from a tech perspective is you've got the flight foam uh, underfoot cushioning. So you've got the uh, sole light insole that comes with, that's a really nice padded uh, insole that comes with all of their boots, running shoes and everything. It's a really nice padded kind of a uh, spongy material there. And then you do underneath, although you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but you do have um, that flight foam underfoot cushioning, which is really nice as well. So it gives you a good amount of padding underfoot. One of the things that ASICS does really, really well is they base their football boots on performance, of course, but performance that's built around being able to uh, keep your feet really healthy and safe. And that is one thing that I think the ASICS brand does exceptionally well. When I first tried on the ASICS DS Lite XFly 4 and XFly Pro, the first generation, I know the two is out now, both of those football boots provided one of the most uniquely comfortable football boots in the market, and it's got a decent amount of arch support as well. So wearing those boots just feels comfortable. And I mentioned in a couple of videos, I actually really prefer grabbing my DS Lite X-Fly 5s off the shelf for sprint workouts and running because it really does provide the most comfortable experience on feet of pretty much any football boot I've ever tried, honestly. The only reason that I don't wear them for games more often is because I kind of like grip on some of my football boots and I like to be able to you know, whip and bend the ball in that way and they're a little more traditional. I wore them for some games last year but that being said, it's just, it's, again, it's just a personal preference, but for a kick around session and just to like bounce around in or to go to the field, if I'm just doing a running workout and then doing some like juggling or footwork afterwards, the DS Lite X-Fly 5 and, you know, hopefully this one, the Ultraza 3 as well, will probably be my top picks just because ASICS 
does such a nice job of catering to that comfort and performance kind of meshing together, which is a really cool sensation. So I'm super thrilled. I'm uh, in typical Asics fashion, these have just an absolutely fantastic suede heel liner. It feels so nice, so padded. It's got a good amount of flexibility to it as well, so I imagine that it's gonna fit really well, um, which is of course a really key feature of the Asics product line, which is awesome. So let's just get these out on feet. I'm, I've got literally no idea what these are gonna feel like, but I have an idea that they will probably fit really, really well, and I'm super excited to try these on feet, and then of course get, if they do fit, get a play test in them and really kind of test them to their limits to see if they are a football boot that's similar to the X, DS Lite X Fly 5, series where it just is so mad comfortable and enjoyable to wear. Let's hop into it. All right, fam, out here in the backyard with the Asics Ultreza 3, or Ultreza, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to try these on. I've heard really good things, especially with this K-Leather forefoot. This, this boot type with the K-Leather forefoot and the synthetic midfoot with this motion wrap uh, is a very, very popular kind of way to go about building football boots. And I think these actually remind me quite a bit of the 99 gram leather boots, looking at these kind of from a top down perspective with the little bit more soft uh, K leather. And so we'll go from there. So let's get these on feet. Um, for those of you who are in the Australia region, New Zealand region, know that these are, oh my goodness. Yeah, wow, those are really comfortable. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So nine us actually fits me a little bit longer than maybe I would like. Maybe I'll go with an 8.5, depending on how these kind of break in. Uh, I'm going to see, let's tie these up. These do have the possibility for a runner's knot, but just for the sake of this unboxing, um, and on feet portion, I'm just not going to do the, do that one quite yet until I've broken in the boots. Very, very comfortable straight out of the box. Goodness gracious. Yeah, those are fantastic feeling. Um, these do have that five millimeter lift, which you can tell pretty, pretty, uh, they, you can definitely tell they have that five millimeter lift, um, but this boot is actually quite a lot similar. It's quite, it, it's much more similar feeling from um, just like a fit and feel perspective to the DS Lite X Fly 5 X Fly Pro series than like the Swift Strike or, or the Menace. So this one is much more focused on kind of that. It, it, def, it feel, honestly, it feels a little bit more quality than those ones do. Um, the Menace feels really good. It is as full synthetic, but I would say these definitely beat out Swift Strike for me. Um, so there you go, there's the look. And as you can see, I'll show you guys the toe again. So there is just a little bit of extra space on that toe area, a little bit more than I would usually like. So I might actually go a half a size down for um, the play test of these, but yeah, look how soft that leather is. These are very, very comfortable. The suede heel liner is super similar to X Fly Pro X Fly Five, which is a huge welcome sight. I think the suede and that those heels are just fantastic. Really locks your foot in whether you're playing with grip socks or non-grip socks. Sole plate feels really good underfoot as well. I really like the way that the studs are laid out and they feel super balanced and neutral. So my guess is these will be great for uh, both AG and FG pitches, although these are technically an FG pair of football boots. Um, I'm sure you could wear these no problem on AG. Uh, and then as far as the heel lift goes, you can definitely feel it in these boots. I definitely can feel that little bit of uh, little bit of lift there, but they feel really plush. Like as I'm kind of pushing my heels into the ground, they feel like they've got that little bit of extra cushioning that just, oh, very, very comfortable on feet. That's really, really nice. Yeah, wow. Uh, I'm really surprised by these boots. I won't say, well, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm not like totally surprised because I know the Ultreza is super popular and it also has all the materials that you would, you know, on paper look great for fit and feel. Um, but there's what they look like on feet. And uh, the, you've got this little reflection from the window right here, just kind of illuminating the boots, which is kind of cool. Um, they look nice. It's a great colorway. I love the white with kind of that blue, same kind of blue as my brand. And uh, yeah, overall, great product. So if you are in the market for something with that leather forefoot, 
It's softer than the 99 gram leather, in my opinion, um, both in the midfoot and in the forefoot area. You get a really nice wrap with that motion wrap uh, synthetic around the midfoot. So it feels like it's gonna lock me in really well, whether I'm doing cutting side to side, doing any sort of agility and stuff. Touch on the ball is very nice and plush, which is awesome. That forefoot gives you a beautiful K leather experience, which I'm a huge fan of and definitely looking to get these on pitch for uh, a play test, which is awesome. So I'm really impressed by these. I, uh, I'm still figuring out if I wanna go half a size down. Again, the toe area, it comes kind of right up to the end, but there's maybe a little bit of extra space. We'll see how they break in. These look, like they look fine and they actually fit really well. So maybe I'll just leave the nine US and then if I get frustrated during the play test with the kind of the sizing or the way that it, you know, if I find I'm dragging my toe for some reason more so than I would with a, with a perfectly true to size type of boot, fair enough. If you are somebody with thinner foot types, maybe I'd go half a size down with these ones. Um, but for wider foot types, I'd probably stay true to size and then you can kind of break them in and it'll, you know, the, the boot will mold and, and kind of go with your foot. Now I am wearing grip socks. I'm wearing my Wii foot grip socks. Um, and the, f the lock in sensation feels fantastic. The, the insole does a really nice job of kind of having that, not, it's not suede, but it's also not slick material. It's kind of that in between where you've got a very smooth surface, it's very ergonomic. So my feet feel like they're getting a nice plush cushion underfoot, uh, but there's no slippage, like zero slippage with any sort of movement and no heel slippage, none of that. So uh, I'm very excited about these boots. I think these look awesome. I think they are gonna be a great pair of football boots to test out and to play in and um, I would love to do a comparison between these and some of the X-Fly series if I can get those X-Flies over to Australia just because um, they were available on eBay and I don't know if eBay will ship here to, uh, here to Australia. But nevertheless, that's my own problem to figure out. Um, otherwise, I'll try and get a pair to you. But there's a last, uh, to me, sorry, not to you. <laughs> Here's a last look at the Ultraza 3. Definitely a boot that I would recommend for most foot types. I think these are gonna be super comfortable for a lot of people, I think, um, they are a boot that you should definitely try out if you are in the Australia, New Zealand region. Would highly recommend, especially if you're looking for a pair of football boots that has that leather forefoot and the lockdown and performance of the synthetic midfoot. Highly, highly recommend. Very, very comfortable, super impressed. Asics, nice job with these. The underfoot feeling is so comfortable and uh, really looking forward to testing these out. So that's gonna be it for the a Asics Ultraza 3. Very, very excited about these football boots. I will be doing a play test on these eventually. It's just gonna take me probably a week or two because I'm filming so much all the time, um, and, but we'll get those out for sure to you guys very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, let me know down in the comment section below which boot you guys want me to review next. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.